right, we finally made it. 18 hours and a bunch of caffeine later. We left out about 10 p.m. last night and got to camp around 4 p.m. today. Drove straight through and so pretty tired, but we made it. We're here, we're set up. It's Friday, Friday evening and see if we can fill a tag. So Dad D went out, went out today and scouted around and covered a lot of ground just didn't find much bear sign so doesn't really look promising from that aspect but you never know so we're gonna we kind of temporary camp and uh gonna go out tomorrow see if we can find any sign at all they didn't find any acorns or any berries or nothing in some of the spots that we've found them before so I'm not sure why but um we're gonna give it a shot tomorrow we may we may have to pick up camp and go somewhere else if there's just no sign or anything like that but we'll see but it's just good to be in the mountains and be with family and friends and good company and have a good time and hey if we can fill a tag that's a bonus so. So we are getting a little late start this morning, but we're just kind of doing more scouting this morning. Just They didn't find a lot of sign yesterday. Uh, when we showed up, they kind of scoured some areas that we had some luck in, or had seen some sign in the previous couple years, and there, there's no acorns or nothing. So we may have to pick up camp, but we're gonna kind of give it a day here, see if we can find some sign and see what we can see. And if not, if we don't see anything promising, we may pack up camp and go to another place. But um, we're at least gonna kind of glass and go into some of these areas that you know we've seen sign and seen bear in the last last couple of years. But ready to go get it? Let's, Let's get it, roll. boys. All right, so we got set up on our glassing spot. And we're just we're glassing this mountainside. Probably gonna glass for an hour or two and see what we see. And, Go from there, but nice still morning. afternoon I think the last update I gave them was yesterday but I ended up getting sick last night and so I didn't go out this morning um, everybody went out but there's just not much sign there's there's a little bit of sign in one little area so um, just there's no acorns uh, from what we gather the they had a big late freeze and kind of kind of killed a lot of the, <clears throat> the acorn production so um, we have found some berries here and there, but it's it's just like I said in small concentrated areas. So um, we're gonna go try a new area tomorrow, do a little scout and see if we can find find some more food. So just trying to find some 
a bigger food source. Um, there's not not much not much around here like there was in the previous years. So, but we're about to cook up some burgers. We're gonna go maybe try to find a new area in the morning. It's Monday morning about 7 a.m. and we we decided to all load up in the truck and head to another unit, see if we could find find some acorns and talk to other hunters and just do a little recon and try to get some some good intel. Um, we talked to the ward game warden, we talked to sheep herders, and they all kind of say the same thing that the acorns they uh, there was a big late freeze. That killed all the acorns which normally um, there's quite a few in this area that's kind of why we come here because it's a good feeding range during the fall for these bears because of the acorns but they didn't make so um, we're just trying to figure it out so we'll see into this local town talked to a few locals a few hunters and uh, they told us about this place up here that's at a lower elevation and uh, they said they'd seen five, some campers said they'd seen five or six bears so we got up here and uh, a bunch of bear scat there's actually some acorns over here some berries so it looks a lot more promising so we're just kind of scouting around and but maybe we'll find something here. This looks kind of still good attention. We came upon this campsite here. This is probably those campers that were told us about told us about this area and all the bear sign they've seen. But, man. Oh, really? Yeah. So they're just Look. sitting there, huh? That's what all that is. <laughs> See? That's funny. Well.
All right, well, we are pulling out of camp. Yesterday when I got off the mountain, got back to camp, it started raining and uh, we looked at the forecast and uh, it's supposed to be raining for the next couple days. And even if we sit around camp and today's Wednesday, it's supposed to rain all day today, pretty much all day tomorrow. And that would basically, we planned on leaving out Saturday, Saturday morning early. So that would have left us with, uh, you know, one day to hunt and there's a little bit of sign up on the mountain, but you know, maybe we could have pulled it off, but we decided that, you know, it's time to head back and but uh yeah, I just drove around all all last evening and glassed up mule deer, saw a lot of mule deer and um but the only deer bear that we saw was that one that Ben that Ben shot at. Um but uh, there's a few around but with the acorn the acorns didn't make this year because of that frost. We weren't aware of that. We probably should have checked that out before we came up here. But uh, most of the acorns were down below 5,000 5, feet from what we gather and down by uh, down by town. Basically, that's where all the bears are. So maybe we should have just maybe we should have just uh, rented a rented a motel in town and then just drove around and drove around town and looked in people's yards and stuff but, <laughs> but anyways we yeah we we tried we gave her a good we we were debating this morning and him hauling around and we finally just said you know what um we had a little bit of, we have a little bit of time where it's not raining so we go ahead we had went ahead and packed up camp and there's supposed to be some more thunderstorms and lightning moved in and so uh we made the call and so it's Wednesday and we're gonna head back and not sure what route we're gonna take back yet but uh, we had a good time wish the bear hunting would have been a little better but um, I'm used to it on my hunting trips of not seeing uh, many animals that I'm trying to hunt so but we still had a good time uh, saw lots of mule deer saw some elk some grouse some yep. coyotes um, it was pretty good weather at camp. I mean, it was it really was until, until uh, yesterday evening. And it just started downpouring, and but we're not professional bear hunters. We've just been trying to figure this out as we go. But I've learned a lot, so certainly, yeah, um, for sure. You know, it was definitely a blessing to get to come up here with these boys and uh, have such good company. They put me on beautiful areas to glass and um, track and see lots of wildlife and. I enjoyed myself coming up here to the Rockies and uh, be a part of it. What did you think about Colorado? Man, Nick, uh, I really enjoyed myself the whole time I've been up here. You know, we drove through Denver and seen a lot of uh, scenic routes, and I just I all around had a great time. Good deal. Well, all right, guys. Over and out. <laughs>